All right, so yesterday, Sunday um, afternoon at about 4 o'clock, there was that um, AALEIF exhibition that I told y'all about about a week or two ago. Um, and the stream was absolutely terrible. One of the worst streams I've ever had to get through. Um, it was choppy. It was bad quality. There was no, basically no sound. If you had internet issues at the arena, then obviously you should have worked something out. I don't understand. I don't get it. But you know what? It doesn't really matter. Um, but it doesn't really matter. It was an exhibition game, so it doesn't mean anything at all. It's just teams trying to play some games. Um, but um, there are some other things going on with the American Arena League right now. Along with the National Arena League as well, CIF, I've heard nothing from the CIF right now. Um, there, there's just nothing going on. I'm just assuming they're not going to play this year at all. Um, IFL's already canceled their season, so and they're getting ready for 2021, so already... Um, and there's some arena football, arena football league. Y'all remember the AFL when I reported back on that back when it basically declared bankruptcy. Um, but yeah, some of those assets, first off, from the AFL, some of those assets are being, you know, they're being bought up by somebody that we don't know who yet. But one of the one of those one of those players in that. In that pool of buyers, of potential buyers, is a y'all may remember the San Jose Sabercats. Do y'all remember the Sabercats? Because I remember the Sabercats and that rivalry they had with Arizona. Boy, oh boy, could San Jose be in the indoor football league in 2021? Who knows? We'll find out um, if something comes out of that. Um, but anyway, the National Arena League. Um, been trying so hard, desperately clinging to hopes that the season will happen. I don't really think there should be a season for the NAL at this point. Um, the, the stuff, just because, you know, we're focusing on different things right now in the country does not mean that COVID-19 is going away anytime soon. Um, so there's still states that are affected. Obviously, Florida is open, as many people know uh, already. Um, that's basically where you know everything's being held right now. Um, NBA is coming back to Florida, stuff like that. Um, but um, I I don't know about Jersey right now. Jersey's looking like the weak link in all of this, and they really shouldn't have even been added to the league in the first place, in my opinion. Um, because they really didn't have much to go for. But, you know, it is what it is. Um, and I got to tell you, what can we do? Um, not too much. We can just wait for another week or two. Um, the Massachusetts owner, um, Jawad Yatsen, um, I believe that's his name. I can't, I'm not good with names, so, you know. Um, but announced basically that there could be something either this week or next week so we'll know by then if the NAL is going to have a season or not I really don't think they should really should just pack it up and try and get things better for 2021 anyway because they had they already messed up some things in 2019 and 2020 already before you know in between you know the end of last season and you know the season that they're supposed to be on right now, which is their, what, their fourth or fifth season? Fourth season, I believe. Um, like, they messed up the CIF merger, which really wasn't going to happen in the first place. Um, they already messed up their schedule for the season because they didn't, they just, they for some reason just had most teams playing 12 games, but, you know, giving the advantage to Jacksonville and Massachusetts because they needed a seventh home game when they really should just, you know, found a way to schedule fourteen games for everybody. But that that that's just that's just me. Um spouting my nonsense. Uh, but in any case, some other things going on with the American Arena League real quick. 
Um, they're announcing teams for 2021. Um, so you may or may not have heard of these teams in your local area. And keep in mind, I don't live the footprint where the AAL is. So if you live in West Michigan, if you live in Music City, that's down there in Tennessee, Indianapolis, the Carolina Predators, um, the Charlotte Thunder, uh, the Tampa Bay Tornadoes, and whoever Harrisburg is, I have no idea who Harrisburg is at all, but the the core is there, Western Michigan, you know, West Michigan, the, um, the Iron Men, who really shouldn't be in the AAL at all, it, it should probably be in the CIF, I don't know why they're still in the AAL, but you know what, it doesn't really matter, and they're also doing things with some other groups in places like Illinois, Indiana, East Michigan, um, Middle Michigan, wherever, the, wherever that's supposed to be. Um, but apparently they're going to have a new AAL West division, which is, you know, not really the best idea considering that the AAL is just not really good at all in fact they're just they're semi-pro at best they're even they're even worse than semi-pro at best playing in just whatever arenas they can find you know warehouses um obviously the game if you saw that game yesterday um ice um indoor hockey arenas where they just don't have you know you know where it's like it doesn't look like an like an arena football type stage it looks like an actual um, ice rink with just, you know, with just, you know, or like a little mat and stuff around it for a football field. And then they're also trying to do this AAL2 thing, which does not make any sense whatsoever. The, this league needs to stabilize itself before it can try to start doing, you know, silly things like, oh, let's start an AAL2. How in the world are you going to do this? Because there's no way a team in Tyler, Texas, Shreveport, Louisiana, Bossier City, Louisiana. Remember there was an AFL team down there in Bossier City, and it didn't last very long. Um, Houghton, Louisiana, Texarkana, Arkansas. You know, I used to live over there in Texarkana near the, um, the Arkansas-Texas border in northwestern Louisiana. Now, this is from a... This is from a team, this is from a site called the Port City Pirates. So if you are, uh, I believe they're in Louisiana, uh, where I got this information from. Of course, there's a whole Facebook group with American Arena League, you know, fans and stuff like that. There's a whole forum stuff. But uh, basically where I got this information from, it's a better source than trying to, you know, hound Facebook groups and stuff like that to get information. Uh, but I don't think... Any of these things are going to happen because this is the AAL. This is just, you know, some of the dumbest things that I've heard in my entire life. And some of these teams in the AAL probably need to get on a bat here and go to better leagues. Western Michigan especially. Um, Louisville, who signed a lot of good teams, uh, signed a lot of good players and stuff like that. They're definitely, they're definitely not on the list of teams. But, you know... Um, I think that you know they should probably get on the battle there and go somewhere else. Definitely, the NAL could be a target for them if that is in the cards. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. Basically, that's all I've got. Uh, Big Boy Variety out. We'll see you in the next video. Take care, everybody.